pastors came one time. I tried to tell them, look, all these things you're seeing today weren't here. Weren't always here. You think they were always here because you see them here now. But they weren't always here. There was, a, there was contention that tried to keep them out. There was devils that tried to stop the orphanage, tried to stop the school, tried to stop the church. Are you listening to me? And somebody had to be bold in their God to preach the gospel of God during times of much contention. And the cool thing about it was, you know, that there's people that, that God pulled around, Apostle Arturo and myself, that supported us, prayed for us, amen, served us, gave us food, amen, made sure we had, you know, just the little things taken care of, man, I had some water, yeah, amen. Maybe help transport us from one place to the next. That's called raw apostolic frontier work. And I tried to tell this man, this stuff wasn't always here. That in order to get the manifestation of these things of God that God had put inside of a man, they had to be birthed. They had to come forth. In other words, you have to speak it first. You have to decree it, and then it comes about. There's no, there is, you know, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. So what happens is when God puts it in your heart, nobody else knows that. But if you want it to come alive, you have to speak it. Yeah, you have to speak it. You have to speak it, and it comes out. And then well, guess what happens? It begins to form. This is, this is how it works. So this man was with me, and he's a good guy. He's a good man. But, you know, we did services on the streets because we were there for the intent of trying to build, you know, help add new converts to different churches in the city. So now to do that, you don't have a church service. A church service where we come in here, and, you know, it's nice, it's comfortable, we got nice seats and it's air conditioning, and, you know, I'm going to minister to you, you know, like pray for you and things like that here. So I'm not going to preach an evangelistic message to you. I'm not going to punch devils like I would on the streets. Because when I get on the streets, that thing that attacks me spiritually, I have to hit that back and bolt or it won't move. It'll put people to sleep. They'll be there and they'll be sleeping or they'll be distracted. So in order for me to do what God's called to do, I have to, I have to really punch that thing and make it move back. Not me, but the gift in me that does it, right? Because it comes alive when the opposition hits. So I said, look, we're going to go out and we're going to go hit these different places. Now, when we do, when we do, that enemy is going to attack. But it doesn't matter. Preach bold, preach strong. Be direct. Don't patty cake the people. Don't try to be nice to people. Be nice to God. Say what God once said. I'm not talking about being mean. I'm not talking about being mean because remember, people can't come out of what they can't see. But you can see it. So you have to hit it so it makes it move away from them. So that they can hear what the Spirit of God is saying to them and then they'll respond. Does that make sense? Just open up your mouth and shout unto the 